right, I wanted to take a minute here and uh, show you the, our COVID tiny house that we built about two and a half years ago. Try to help with the COVID mess. My uh, One of my sons and his family were staying with us. He was re working remotely. So to give it a little more space, we built this uh, little house. It's worked out really well. Got kind of a kitchen area down at this end, fridge, microwave, little one burner stove and sink, some cupboards. And then it's got uh, a Fulton bed here on this side. The windows that are in here were nice windows. They were all used that we picked up at a good price. And we built the bookcase. So my daughter-in-law was homeschooling the kids out here. This worked really well as a little schoolhouse for them. And then I had a large screen TV on the wall there. Another nice window. And a stairway leading up to the loft. The building is 20 by 10, which is a size that you can still move. It just sits on the, on the ground. There's the loft up there. My son used that as a work area. He had a desk, his computer, and everything he needed up there. And we put some uh, LED lights in it. Right now, I'm using it as a exercise cave, pain cave. Sometimes I call it. I don't get, I don't do too much pain, but I've got a bike out here with a, a trainer on it. And this was just something we used for Christmas decoration at church, so that we didn't have anything to do with it. We heat it with uh, an electric heater out here in Montana. That doesn't quite do the job when it gets cold. So we supplement it with this propane. This is an 18,000 BTU uh, big buddy that does a really good job of heating it. Uh, so far, I've just been using the, the small one-pound tanks of fuel, but be better to have a five gallon that was outside and had a, a line run into it. And then for electricity, we have two 20 watt breakers or 20 amp breakers, excuse me. And a shelf up here, we can put things on. They put some Christmas decorations up during Christmas. Nice window up there. It really gives you I probably should turn the phone the other way, but really gives you a nice uh, full view out the front. It feels a lot more spacious than it is just because of the high ceiling and and the windows that are clear up high. So we'll stop there and I'll go upstairs and pick up again. Up here. We used uh, barn trusses that we built ourselves, and uh, this paneling that uh, we put the regular paneling up here on the ceiling. And then downstairs, we, we were looking at knotty pine, but that was so expensive, especially during the COVID mess. All the lumber was really high, so we took this paneling and cut it in, uh, I think, about 8-inch pieces and then put it on the wall similar to tongue and groove can't remember what they really call that the ceilings uh, about five and a half feet i think up here at the peak so you have to bend over kids don't have any problem but taller people gotta bend over usually we're sitting up here there's these work space desk uh dimmer lights on all of these LED lights and the floor that was uh, used flooring wood flooring got a good price on that same up here as down below you got a good view from up on top looking down into it and then another window out the back here and your stairway, pretty steep stairway, but it doesn't take up much space, so that worked good. 
I think that's about it for the inside. All right, this is a view of the tiny house cabin. I like to call it a cabin. I think that's what uh, my son planned. He has some land down in Idaho. And I'd like to get it moved down there so when they visit, it's in, up in the mountains. So make a nice little weekend cabin. Uh, got four inch walls, fully insulated, the floor is insulated, and then the uh, gable roof has got the four inch insulation in it also. It, it's also vented across the top so it keep the moisture out. And it's got the uh, T111 siding. You walk around here. We put a little uh, portable air conditioning unit in this window in the summer, which does a good job of cooling it off. There's the back. It's about 15 feet from the ground to the ceiling. We used shingles to roof it. I'd like to have gone metal, but didn't have much experience with that. So decided to go with the shingles. And then you got the door and window on this side. And a little solar light for porch light. Then around here we have a little outhouse that's kind of a compost outhouse, but more for emergency use. But it gets used a few times. And a little fire pit over here. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.